today we will see about the alkalinity of water sample that means how to conduct the practical of alkalinity of water sample before that what is alkalinity alkalinity is nothing but your uh, capacity of water to accept h plus ions so it is nothing but you can say that uh, it is the capacity of water to react with h plus ions uh, at ph 8.3 so what is ph 8.3 it is the phenol phenyl alkalinity and then with uh, ph 3.7 that is total alkalinity so this is all about the alkalinity actually and the alkalinity of water is maybe uh, due to presence of carbonates bicarbonates and hydroxide ions which are present in your water sample so alkalinity is a major of these things so now let's start with our practical uh, demonstration of alkalinity in practical we have to first standardize the sulfuric acid and after that uh, standardization we will conduct the actual titration with the sample uh, from which we have to determine the alkalinity so we will start with standardization so for starting the standardization of uh, H2SO4 we have to weigh the sodium carbonate this sodium carbonate is CRM that is certified reference material which we are going to use in particular standardization so let's weigh the sodium carbonate now we will weigh uh, sodium carbonate particular <coughs> particular butter paper this sodium carbonate we have already uh, pre-dried in an oven at 105 degrees celsius for at least one or one and a half hour so we weigh exactly 0 0.02 gram around 0 0.02 gram for standardization weighing is over, we will transfer this sodium carbonate in a conical flask. You have to uh, note down the weight whatever you got on the balance and record it for further uh, calculation purpose. Now we already transferred it in the conical flask. Now we will dissolve this sodium carbonate in water. Now after weighing of sodium carbonate, we will dissolve it in uh, little distilled water. We don't have to add so much of distilled water unless it is dissolved. That much water is sufficient for dissolution purpose. After complete dissolution, we will add indicator that is methyl orange indicator add just 2 to 3 drops of methyl indicator <coughs> now we have added the indicator and we will titrate it against 0 0.02 normal H2SO4 for this we have already filled the burette with the H2SO4 now we will start the titration. Titrate slowly, drop by drop till less and until we will not get the end point. So we will titrate it. Initially, you saw the color of the solution as pale yellow or yellow, and what 
will be the end point. The end point is the sunset orange color. Unless and until you will not get the sunset orange color, till that time you have to titrate it. This is the end point of the titration. So you have to note down the bure threading, whatever you got on the bure. You take it as a bure threading. So this is the standardization part. After this, we will continue with the titration with the sample. Now take 50 ml of sample. From which we have to determine the alkalinity. We will take with the help of bulk pipette and the rubber bulb. Before taking the sample from pipette, you have to ensure that whether the pipette is clean. You have to rinse it with distilled water at least two three times and then take the pipette for sample. Take around 50 ml of sample in a concert flask. Now add mixed indicator. Two three drops are sufficient. Add two three drops of mixed indicator and titrate similarly as per as we did in the standardization. Now here you can see the color is bottle green and the initial color you can say that it is a bottle green. After that, the end point will be pale pink color. So what is what will be the end point is pale pink. Here you got the bure threading immediately. That means it has less alkalinity. So this is the end point of the titration. Now we will see the calculation part of <coughs> standardization as well as alkalinity. So what is the formula for standardization? Here we wrote weight of sodium carbonate as 0.0201 grams. Then bure threading is we got 20 ml for standardization while doing the standardization. Now we will put these two values in the calculation as 18.868 into 0 0.0201 that is the weight of sodium carbonate divided by buret reading as 20 ml. So this 18.868 comes from uh, actually it is the gram equivalent weight of sodium carbonate that we do in the calculation. After calculating this, we got the normality as 0.018962 per mol. So, after calculation of normality, <coughs> we have to find the factor of sulfuric acid. So, how we will find out that we will see over here, uh, downside. We have to write in the numerator, whatever the normality we got, 0.018962 divided by theoretical normality that is 0 0.02 that means actual normality divided by theoretical normality then you got the factor as 0 0.9481 so this factor we are going to use in final calculation of total alkalinity so this factor we got and the normality also we got here after that the total alkalinity as CaCO3 so in milligrams per liter it is. So what is the formula of it is burette reading into 0 0.02 that is a normality into factor which we calculated over here into 50,000 divided by ml of sample. So what is 50,000? 50,000 is nothing but your gram equivalent weight of calcium carbonate in milligrams per liter. 
that is PPM. So we put all these values 5.6 mm that is the titration reading which we got in titration into 0 0.02 into 0 0.9481 into 50,000 divided by 50 mm. So the final calculation comes out to be 106.19 milligrams per liter. So this is the total alkalinity of our water sample in ppm or milligrams per liter. So this is all about the total alkalinity calculation as well as the practical part. So that's it. That is the end of the practicals.